Okay, here's today's newspaper. Mm. March the 12th. What's the date on it? February the 10th. Month ago. No! February 10th, what year? 2023. <laughs> so, so what's the date today? It's uh, March the 12th, 2024. It's a year old. So, it's, now you see, get to see what happened back yeah. in the old days. Honestly. And here's your tube of preparation ink. I do not want the tube of preparation ink. Well, it's probably some of your paint. It's not mine. Is it mine? Oh, well, it was in the garden. You probably fell out of your case. Well, it's no, it's no good. If it's, it was fell out of my garbage, it, um, it's probably because there's no paint. And anyway, I don't have tubes that small, so that's not mine. Well, what is it? That's watercolor, if it's anything. I don't have acrylic that small. What about the word jumble? Hmm? What about the word jumble? You know, he, he nailed me there. there. I'm a crack weirdo. To right now sucks. I'm glad there's people like you willing to it? undercut that insult narrative. Wait. Goka? Goka? She afraid of accountability? Taylor, Taylor, what do you mean? By the way, holy fuck, Latchkey, Taylor, and Jellyfish, shout out. Thank you for being fucking subs to the channel, bro. That's dope. I didn't even realize I was a fucking change right now. Would you? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> you know, she should try. Yeah. Espy. Hell yeah. What's up, bro? It's too many blows to his ego. He could handle well in the be very beginning, but it was too much after a while. Yeah, uh, I think the difference really was just that um, he actually genuinely, I think, thought that he, I was coming from a place of like... Because what you need to understand is that Sneeko's audience Seven, constantly roasts him. Rushing, like, constantly. It's like a total meme rushing, within his community that he gets roasted. For but the second that he detects serenely, truly that it's someone who is actually outside of his community or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, you know, a love speech fucking... Uh, God whatever goblin right that's when it's not okay right like it's like as if if your brother you know if your friend roasts you that's like normal but if an outsider someone you dislike like from a group you dislike like a fucking random if they dislike you then it's like fuck off you know what i mean i mean i think that's the mentality right but yeah all, all we can say is that motherfucker was enjoying the video and the fact that he claims, keep in mind, he claims that he didn't watch the rest. You can Over believe here, that, Mary. not believe that, whatever. It's possible that he really was coping that fucking hard. He was like, just, he did not watch the rest. In reality, yeah, he probably just watched it. I can't remember their names. More, but, you know. That's fucking weak, to be honest, because clearly the guy was enjoying the video. His fucking boss. His inability to parse it out is part of the hilarious. <laughs> yeah. He watched it multiple times, bro. <laughs> he missed the best parts on stream. Mm -hmm. Oompaville enjoyed it too. Yeah, no, Oompaville's goaded, bro. Oompaville is goaded. Uh, bro. Let's just let's just let me put it like this, okay? A lot of the commentary community is fucking sleeping. This is a fact. They're sleeping. A lot of the commentary community nowadays are partially retired. Okay? They're literally just waiting on other creators to talk about the newest fucking drama to basically, you know, just kind of copy what they're covering. You know what I mean? Um and there's, again, what we pulled off, that is true. Like, it was actually kind of an event. It was actually kind of interesting. The big thing you need to understand is, um, if we're getting, like, a little bit philosophical, like, the entire game show that we hosted for Sneeko, that shit was reversible. That shit could have gone wrong. There's a lot that could have gone wrong. He could have not taken the bait. He could have not opened the briefcase. Sneaky Sneeko cartoon character retard but we fucking got Character lucky you know what i mean we we successfully retard. seduced him um, which <laughs> is a funny way to put it i'm sure he sneaky, wouldn't like it being put that way but that's just facts like the guy literally it's so like accurate to say like the guy got seduced
Get By the it. demon shit. Feather stuck. Words, world. Anyway, yeah, Oompa's goaded. Divided. Exactly, yeah. So a lot of, so I, like I was saying, Tom is basically, yeah. A lot of the commentary community is sleeping, right? They're just not paying attention. Like it's not like they're shit or whatever. It's just that they're not really paying attention and they're kind of just, you know, looking for like whatever is popular, right? Um, and so Oompa and Turkey Tom and Echito, those are the three, um, you know, bigger creators. And there's many, by the way, many smaller creators who I'm very thankful for. Fuck Papa God, fuck him. Uh, there's a bunch, man. There's so many um, who reacted to and covered my video, and I am fucking very grateful for smaller creators to cover it. But yeah, a lot of like the bigger boys, they're totally asleep. But Oompaville, that guy's dialed the fuck in. Tom, obviously, we're fucking related. We got blood, you know what I mean? So Tom, obviously, is my boy. Tom was ahead of the fucking curve. And, uh, yeah, same with, uh, Ichido. You know? But, uh, yeah. No, Oompa, Oompa was big, bro. I really appreciate that guy. For real. Um, shout out to Oompa. We love Tom, but yeah. Um, is it fair to say that Oompa is one of the most predictable people to have an audience? Well, the big, big thing you need to understand is that the reason that he was predictable to me is because I understand his, his chat. I understand the fact that Nico is extremely easily manipulated uh, by his chat. Just the fact, like, there's so many examples of this guy just fucking doing the dumbest shit ever. Like, in, in the video, when he touched that old man's head, he did that because the chat wanted him to? Like, there's a fucking idiot. So in my mind, it was just simple. Like, if I, if I offer questions or if I give him opportunities, he's gonna ask the chat, and if I know how the chat's gonna respond, then I know what Nico's gonna do. So, if you present Nico's chat with a demonic game show invitation, despite the fact, keep in mind, Nico is always going on about demonic shit going on in the world, right? He's always saying, like, you know, these people, you know, these liberals, these artists worship demons. You know, he's always talking about how demons actually exist in the world for real. Um, so despite Sneeko always saying these things, when he's presented with, you know, a little bit of a demonic invitation. Holy fuck. Yo, Jume. Jume Layman. I hope I said that right. Oh, no. Stupid. Journey Layman. Please keep creating. You remind me of Nerd City. You're really onto something. Good work. Thank you, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Thank you, fuck. That's a huge compliment, by the way. Holy shit. What the fuck? Let's celebrate their first super chat on a live stream. Holy shit. Journey Layman, thank you for thinking it's worth it, bro. That's nuts. Goddamn. What a, what a fucking crazy stream, man. Thank you. Wow. Oh, man. Alexander, thank you for being a fucking member. And same with you, Manoof, my boy. This guy swears. This is cracked. Kyle Tucker, too.